Hey guys, Mike Cruz here and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on in the world of superheroes because I think there's a couple of really exciting things that have happened in the last couple of days. First of all, there's a rumor going around that Warner Brothers is trying to get Joaquin Phoenix to star in the next uh, Superman, Batman, Justice League, Wonder Woman movie as some sort of villain. Uh, they haven't released any information about what villain or who he'd be playing, but personally I'm a really big fan of Joaquin Phoenix and would kind of like to see that addition. Staying on the Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Justice League League movie, um, David S. Goyer is no longer writing that, which is really kind of scary for fans because they're supposed to go into production really soon. But the exciting part of the news is that they've tapped Chris Terrio, who won an Academy Award for Argo, to rewrite the script. Now that's not a surprise since they, he's worked with Ben Affleck before, and Ben Affleck uh, and Chris Terrio are both really passionate about story and character and all of that good stuff. And so I think they'll bring some really, really good stuff to this sequel. So I'm excited about it. I'm Batman. But there still is good news for David S. Goya. It turns out that he uh, has teamed up with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Neil Gaiman to produce a movie version of Sandman, the Vertigo comic, not the villain from Spider-Man. Joseph Gordon-Levitt has confirmed on Twitter that he is definitely producing the Sandman movie, but there are rumors going around that he might also direct or star in it. Now, I was a really big fan of Don John, so I think that might be really cool, and he might make a really good Sandman. Sandman, if you guys don't know, is a Neil Gaiman comic starring Morpheus, who's the godlike personification of dreams. He comes out of 70 years of captivity and goes on this like revenge-fueled mission to reclaim his kingdom, but at the same time he has to sort of deal with readjusting to the modern world. Now, this movie has been in some sort of development for like 20 years. At some point, HBO was gonna do a show about it. In 2010, Eric Kripke from Supernatural was tapped to do a script version of it for Warner Brothers and nothing ever happened with that. So who knows if this movie actually will ever happen, but it would be really cool in my opinion if it did. They have the ability to introduce an entire new universe of characters in the initial movie. They, not only could they introduce Morpheus, but they could introduce all of the Endless or some of the Endless, in my opinion, especially death, and uh, and go on from there. That's all I've got for today, but let us know in the comments what you think of uh, Joaquin Phoenix possibly playing a villain. What do you think about David S. Goyer no longer writing Superman versus Batman? And what do you think about the potential for a Sandman movie and Joseph Gordon-Levitt being involved? Otherwise, like and subscribe and come back for more movie news.